You know, I, I want to stop right here. I want to stop right here. Now listen to this. You know, oftentimes, provider isn't just money, y'all. Can I have an amen, y'all? Provider isn't just money. Stop thinking that provider is just, he gave me some money. God's going to give you some money. But some of you, you needed more grace. You needed more love. You needed joy in your life. You needed the Holy Ghost. You needed the blood of Jesus. You needed the power of God. You needed a sound mind. You needed some wisdom. And you needed some insight. And you needed somebody to wrap you in their arms and hold you real tight. It was God that provided. Can I have an amen in this place? Sometimes it's not money, God. I just need you to hold me right. I just need you to hold me right now, Lord. Lord, we thank you right now that you are our great provider. The air that we breathe, you have provided. The food that is on our table, you have provided. In you we live and we move and we breathe and we have our existence in you. You have provided us life and that more abundantly. Lord, we thank you for the provision of redemption, of salvation, of healing. We thank you that we, you are all that we need, that you are the living word. Lord, we thank you this morning. for all that you've provided. And this morning, we're so grateful that we can look to you, God, as our sustainer. You have upheld us, and you have kept us. How many grateful that God is your keeper? That you have kept me. Oh, my goodness. You have provided the keeping power. Lord, you provided strength for my body when I was feeling weak and didn't feel like I could make another step. Now, can we just stop real quick and give God some praise for being our provider? I'm not just talking about money, y'all. Come on, y'all. I mean, can we bless him this morning? Like we're so happy that we serve a God that keeps us and that is our provider. You know, I would also say this. Sometimes... You're walking through life. And all of us have, may have experienced this. Lord, I don't know if I have the strength to go another day. Mm. Mm. I just don't know if I got the strength. Elder Marvin, weren't you, weren't you in the hospital this week? But look at God. Can I have an amen, y'all? Sometimes you feel like, I don't know if I can take another step. And then you hear the Spirit of God telling you, take another step. I am your provision. I am what you need. I got what you need. Just give me what you got. Just give me one more step. And then one step becomes two steps. And then three. And you look back and you say, God. God, I thank you that you are my provider. 
And the Apostle Paul said that God told him that my grace is sufficient for you. Lord, thank you this morning that you are what we need. You are our provider. You provide the strength that we need to keep going and going and going. And God, we just give you the praise. And we acknowledge that we can do nothing without you. <laughs> Jesus, we can't do it without you. We need you, Lord. And we're so grateful that you are our lives. And this morning, as we sing our praise, we sing in the full assurance of faith, knowing that, God, you have us in your hand continue to sustain us and see us through this life. We give you praise because you alone are worthy of it. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody said amen, amen. Come on, release a shout of praise to Jesus. Amen. Come on, give somebody a great big hug and tell them Jesus is on my side. 